One of the concerns that had been raised in New York a little bit earlier on, so this is around about March time, was that uh, hospitals were running out of ventilators. And one thing that had been suggested in an extreme case, not that you would recommend it normally, was to be able to put two um, patients on a single ventilator. We performed some measurements in um, on, on a real ventilator, in a clinical ventilator, using test lungs. So we were able to characterize the, the ventilators. And what's important, if you ever do try to put mismatched patients on a ventilator is to have some resistance in the circuit to prevent uh, any risk of damage. And so what our work led us to do is um, we performed the characterization, we performed some modeling work, and we we're able to come up with a very simple to use calculator, which we've published now in our journal article. Prior to the work we did, there wasn't a way to calculate what was required in terms of flow resistance. So this is probably not going to be something that will be used in uh, a healthcare system that has enough ventilators, but there may be some extreme cases where you could possibly um, put two patients on a ventilator if you didn't have any other clinical choice. And this would mean that you would then be able to offer another ventilator to someone who was very ill. So it, it is the a measure of last extreme, but yeah, so this work was uh, quite important to be able to show that you can, we can calculate it.